If y'all ain't seen this video yet of the cop that picked the dude up, slammed him on the ground, cold knocked the dude out. And everybody's standing around just looking at my man on the ground. He done. What the fuck? Oh! Look what the fuck they just did to this boy. Oh! Look what the fuck they just did to this fucking boy, bro. Slammed his head on the fucking floor. And he picking his phone up. Make him put the man phone down. For nothing. Let me go around traffic, for real. He just slammed this boy on the fucking floor. Day, everybody got upset. I got all these people in my damn inbox talking about, look at this, look at this, look at this. Okay, I'll look at it. But y'all know I'm not gonna jump on the bandwagon with you just because you fail to understand. Nothing happens in a vacuum and don't nobody act like they wanna admit to that shit no more. So you know what? Even though I'm always coming to the aid of my people, even though I'm always the one to say I love my people, even though I'm always the one that's trying to make other people understand why our perspective needs to be respected and inspected and it's a retrospect and the context of what needs to be said. Even though I'm always the dude doing that, even though I'm always on the front line, even though I'm always trying to dig for the real facts. If there's one thing I'm not going to do, is I'm not gonna stand by and, and jump on the bandwagon of stupidity. Y'all got to stop ignoring the bullshit that we do that puts us into certain situations with these clown ass people who like to call themselves the cops. Everybody wanna talk about the fact that the boy got slammed on the ground. Now I'm going to ask everybody watching an honest question. Everybody, whether I know you or not. If we was walking down the street together, me and you, hanging out, chilling, talking, blah, 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 blah. And somebody you didn't know walked up on you and spit on you. Blah. Being what the world is today, being that there are fatal diseases that there are genetics inside of your saliva, the DNA. It's not going to throw that on you. In this world where people travel from one side of the world to the other in a matter of hours from different countries, bringing all kinds of diseases that you are, it's not that, that, that they going to die, your body ain't used to it. You throw your bodily fluids on another person. I used to always hear my mother say, if somebody was trying to break in the house, she would go downstairs and have a roasting pan of hot piss and throw it on them. Now, me as a kid, I used to wonder, where the fuck are you going to get all this piss from? But that's irrelevant. It was just this thought of somebody throwing hot urine on you. And you stand there, and you're like, I know this motherfucker didn't throw this piss on me. If someone spits on you, what would you do? And don't try and be cute. They're all civilized. What would you really do? Just walk up. <laughs> Blah! What would you do? Now look here, fam. Oh. To walk down a public street and consume alcohol, which everybody knows is illegal. That's why we got the brown paper bag. We know we got game on the block. You know how to drink in public. So you was already wrong, cat. It wasn't that big a deal. I understand it's the holiday. You a little turned up. But okay. But it's Thanksgiving. You know they out there. But you go out there anyway. Okay. And a hot boy saw you. Apparently you didn't disguise it too well. Because he pulled up. He had to pull up on you. And then he pulls up. You know, you probably been drinking, you feel like that liquid courage flowing through you. So what you do? Instead of just pour the drink out or whatever the hell it is, bruh, bruh, you know, whatever. You gonna spit on the cop? You spit on the cop, bro. 
Now, I know he probably got a body cam for this that's going to come out. Because you know we're going to ask to see. You spit on him, bro. Because he told you you couldn't drink in public. You s- that's about as stupid as pointing a pistol at a bunch of cops. You know that's suicide by a cop. You spit on this motherfucker? In Chicago? Nigga, you ain't juicy. You damn right he picked your ass up and slammed you on the goddamn ground. I would have done the same thing. I probably would have done more than that. But don't nobody want to talk about that. Well, he could have done some other things. What would you have done? And don't sit there and give me that Martin Luther King. I would have turned the other cheek. Let me walk up on you tomorrow. I'm just going to spit in your face. People nasty. People unhealthy. People got all kind of shit in their system. But it's okay if you spit that shit up. Don't you know you absorb shit through your skin? Why do you think there are some animals that their defense mechanism is to spit something on you? Because when it hits your skin, it has an effect. Sink in to you. And I accidentally some spit fly out my mouth. Oh, bro, I'm the most apologetic dude. I'm wiping you down. I'm asking you, do you want me to buy you something that, you know, to help you out? Whatever. I'm saying sorry a thousand times. That was an accident. You know how you know how much hatred I would have to have in me for me to, to spit on you? Because I already know what's coming. That's the quickest way to start a fight. You want to really start a fight with a motherfucker? Don't even go in there and say that. Just walk up to a motherfucker and the fight is popping. If not, I got a question. What, I'm sorry. I got a question what kind of person you are. I'm a peaceful bro too, but there, there's boundaries, bro. But this spitting, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. And I'm, I know this is going to hurt some people's feelings. You didn't birth another person to be able to spit on them. Hell, if my mother spit on me, we have a real strange relationship. You know what I mean? Like, mom, we're really mom. That's what we have. Pops, huh? we spitting on niggas around here? What's, what's this shit? I'm in the wrong fucking family. That is so disrespectful. So don't everybody get in an uproar when you see the video unless you know the context of why he grabbed you and what was going on. And the whole situation as far as I'm concerned is, um, I hate to say it, but they can say the cop lost his temper. What was he supposed to do? Pull out a handkerchief and be like, well, you know, we're not going to have that. I keep asking you, what would you have done? Put yourself in that position. You own your job, whatever your job is. A lot of y'all do a lot of different stuff. But imagine somebody came in your job for whatever the business of the job was, McDonald's, the office, working in the airport, I don't know, anywhere. Sitting in your, sitting in your, in your own business. Somebody came in and spit on you. 